Let's get back to this piece. It was made by a company called Macbeth Evans in the 1930s. They're asking $8 for it. While it may look like milk glass, it's actually custard glass and it has a secret. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Today I thought we would go somewhere a little bit different, uh, somewhere I haven't been in couple of years I think and that is Savers here in Las Vegas and I'm very excited because I'm not alone my dad is here with us dad's in the house dad's in the house <laughs> dad is fantastic at thrifting he always finds amazing things what do you think you're going to look for today dad oh it's always exciting because you know I've been doing side thrifting for many years with you right and it's a journey it's have a lot of fun just finding things finding things that people want uh, and it's good for me I, I like being part of what you do right. I really do well let's say let's say we go in and see what we can find today let's, let's go, go thrifting, thrifting. We are in for a treat today. Not only are we going to a different Goodwill, one I don't go to very often, it's on Flamingo and Fort Apache here in Las Vegas. But I am not alone. My dad is with us today. Dad's in the house, dad's <laughs> in the house. It's so exciting when dad comes with me. He finds such good stuff. Um, he knows what to look for. He's even found in the past uh, sterling salt and pepper shakers, haven't you? Yes, many but... times. And thank you for, well, thank you to everyone for your words of condolence to our family. Um, it's been a rough time, but you know, your words of sympathy has really helped a lot, and I thank all of you. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Thank you. So, this is my first in the car. This is my first time in the car. <laughs> well, we're really excited. We are ready to go in and see what they have. So, let's, let's go, go thrifting. thrifting! This location is a little bit noisy because it's right on the street, as you can see. We usually find some really good items here. Sometimes it's a little bit on the expensive side, so you have to be aware of price tags and um, sale colors. Let's go in and see what the color of the day is. It looks like the sign is right inside the door here and the color of the week is blue. The carts are right inside the door here, so let's grab one. We'll put my thrifting Vegas blanket in. I like to put my shopping bags underneath to add just a little bit more of uh, protection here. Some more padding. Here we go. Here's the blanket. My dad has gone over to the clothes to have a look. So let's make our way back to the hard goods section. If you want to give reselling a go, but you don't know where to begin, start in your home. Have a look in cupboards and closets for items you don't need or use anymore. If you're selling items you already own and were probably going to donate anyway, the only thing you're spending is your time. Creating an eBay account is very easy and there are lots of YouTube videos that can help you. We are here in the hard goods section and I have already spotted something interesting. Up here is a gorgeous rock arch. I believe it's sandstone and these can sell for upwards of $50. Ooh, they have it marked at 30. It's a lovely piece, really heavy, but we will leave that for somebody else. Over here is a turtle. I think it's one of those fold out baskets. 
Oh, but it's missing its handle, sadly. So we'll leave that as well. This is an interesting little plaque. It looks like somebody's project. The angel is a little scary. <laughs> and $6. Here's a pineapple snack dish. I do like this. You put your snacks in the bowl and your toothpicks in the little holes here. Sadly, it's missing um, a little piece on one end, so we'll leave it. Let's keep going. Over the other side is this fantastic cat. Look at him. He is jointed with little pieces of knotted leather. I love that. He is $5.99, but I do think there is room for profit on him. Look at that face. He's gorgeous. We will place him carefully into the cart. What else can we see? There's a little Easter night light there. I actually have one of those in my inventory. A big apple. Let's see. Oh, this is the lid to a little potpourri pot. It goes on top of a glass bowl there. And oh my goodness, what do we have here? It's really old and definitely something that we want, but we're going to have to leave it for just a sec because there is something even more incredible just over here. Look at this piece. I believe it's an urn. It's ceramic with uh, a leather wrap. The detail is incredible. Look at these tassels. It's $50, I believe, and we are going to muscle it into the cart in just a sec. I anticipate it being very, very heavy, so stand by. Well, I was right. It's extremely heavy. I've got it sitting up here on the cart so you can see the detail. Gorgeous colors on ceramic. We've got metal filigree, some inlay. It is $50.00 leather wrap with tassels i'm just checking it over to make sure it doesn't have any cracks or damage but it appears to be in really nice condition and i have a feeling that this could be worth up and over a thousand dollars Let's get back to this piece. It was made by a company called Macbeth Evans in the 1930s. They're asking $8 for it. While it may look like milk glass, it's actually custard glass and it has a secret. It's UV reactive. So as you can see, if I shine my black light on it, it glows a brilliant green. The angel looks like willow tree, but she doesn't have the wire wings. She's $8. We've got an etched and silver plated goblet here. $6 on that. The camel is willow tree, but $13 is too much for resale. This girl is broken at the neck and wings. We've got a beautiful crackle carnival glass bowl here. Again, $13, too much for me for resale. This little jug is nice. Made in China though, very lightweight, a bit chipped. This piece is interesting. It looks like a nautical weight, but it's ceramic. I think it is just decorative, $3.00. Some candle holders here, Christmassy candy cane themed. These are anchor hocking, avocado Sorrento bowls. Got a tissue box holder, quite nice. Precious Moments Hula Girl. I do stand to, tend to steer clear of Precious Moments. There are so many on eBay, they just don't move very quickly. Another shade in the candy cane. Big platters down here. Would be great if I still had my booth. I like this marble moon sculpture, but this gray vein down the center almost looks like a crack, unfortunately. It's $10. Again, a very heavy piece, so I think we'll leave that for somebody else. Back here is a little candle shade vase and swan 
This is a sweet little piece. Only about a $10 value though, so we'll leave it on the shelf. I like this stingray. He's carved wood, looks like a souvenir piece. He's marked St. Kitts in the Caribbean. He's $6 though, so I think we will leave him on the shelf. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It doesn't cost you anything at all to subscribe, but you can choose to be notified when I have a new video release and it helps my channel reach a wider audience. Back here is a little inspirational art heart. I really like these and they sell very, very well for me. Ooh, this one is $13. So sadly, we'll have to leave this on the shelf for somebody else. That's uh, just a bit much for resale for me. This is a Pier 1 piece. Sadly, it has a massive crack across uh, the top there. So that will stay as well. This looks like a florist piece. Something that you would arrange, uh, arrange flowers in or maybe uh, fruit. This looks like an artist's tray. It is signed Zhang USA. I do like that. Very, very heavy though. It's a pitcher and bowl. These dear candle holders are fantastic. They're resin made to look like carved wood. $8 a piece. And they'd be just perfect cabin or rustic home decor. Working our way down, we've reached the seasonal and Christmas section. Lots of mugs, glasses here. I quite like these frosted ones with the little Christmas trees around the base. Those are $2 a piece. There are three of them. What else do we have? A large Chinese teapot. Oh, another art heart. This is just the box, unfortunately. Again, $13 when it was in there. We've got plates and platters, lots of sets and stacks, serving trays, some boxes here. Oh, that's a fancy Asian costume lady. A doll, more Christmassy bits. Oh, this is Blue Sky Clay Works. It's a tea light tray for $4. Let me show you the mark. Blue Sky. I think I'm going to pass on that for now. I do have quite a lot of Christmas uh, inventory still. So anything I find is going to be absolutely super special for me to pick up. This is a planter. Not really sure why it's priced as high as it is. This is a project piece by DB. What else? Candle holders. This is a fun castle. Must be something special. They're asking $15 on that piece. Little frame here. This looks very vintage. Unfortunately, it has a repair to the neck. I do quite like these little cups here. They look like they're part of a sake set. $13 on those. More candle holders and Christmas bits. It's a fun reindeer bowl and some stocking holders. Dad has found some pumpkins. What are you going to do with those? <laughs> okay. So one more. Juggling three. Here we are in the candles and candle holder section. This is a really pretty flower mug. They came in a big set, all different colors. Sadly, they're very lightweight and chip easily. This is a gorgeous cobalt blue glass moon candle holder. And unfortunately, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a massive crack all across. So that will have to stay on the shelf as well. 
This is interesting. I thought this was a candle holder inside a plastic tube, but it's actually glass and it's the design of the piece. They're asking $10, a bit much for me for resale. These pink holders are Westmoreland. They're absolutely gorgeous. That one doesn't have a price. Let's see. Six dollars a piece on those. Again, a bit much for me for resale. This fellow is cracked and repaired, so he will be left on the shelf as well. Let's keep going. This looks like a Target dollar spot piece. These are Indiana glass turtle candle holders. They sell quite well for me, but uh, again, a bit too much for resale at eight dollars a piece. It's a candle holder back there, vintage clear piece, $13 on that. Oh, there's a matching one of these, so I'm going to put them uh, together. Quite like those. Again, uh, the prices on these candle holders uh, just aren't working for me for resale. So let's keep going to see what else we can find. It's a really pretty serving bowl, lots of flowers on that. $8 on sale for four. This looks like American Brilliant. The glass is so sharp, you feel like you're going to cut your fingers. And the sparkle and light coming through just makes it glow. Unfortunately, they just don't sell very well for me, the clear glass pieces. So I am going to leave them for somebody else. What else can we see here? Quite a pretty cross. At $6 though, again, a bit too much for me for resale. Here is a matching pottery goblet to the ones that are over here. Let's put this with its friends right there. I'm going to move this up somewhere else to give those some room. There we go. The pumpkins my dad found. Oh, these are pretty. They're $3.99 a piece. Vintage Mikasa crystal taper candle holders. And a lovely bubble serving bowl back here. This is interesting. It looks like brass. It's $8. Possibly a decorative piece. There's a little ceramic girl bell here. She looks to be hand painted. A raccoon handled mug for eight dollars. This looks like an older pier one. There's the mark. Six dollars. It's a chamber candlestick. Let's see. I do like a lot of these pieces, but unfortunately the prices are just a bit high for me for resale today. Some fabric there, table runners. These look like wall decor and some star plates. This is a lovely pink bottle. It looks like it's $13, has its stopper. I still have the lovely pink Empoli vase I found a couple of months ago. That is un on an unpaid invoice. I think we'll leave this one for someone else. Making our way down the row, more lovely big console bowls. This looks to be hand painted, somebody's project, a little tray, ceramic dog. Oh, look at this, a big faceted paperweight. I'm just checking to see if there's an etched maker's mark on the bottom. It is $8. There's the bowl of the potpourri lid we found. Oh, look at this, a vintage amber crackle glass, little creamer or pitcher. I love the Jack in the Pulpit style top. Look at that, it's only $3. Let's definitely get this carefully into our cart. I know that many of you collect pieces like this in all different colors and create a beautiful rainbow display. This is a lovely little piece, a little Chinese girl. Unfortunately, her foot is broken. That's such a shame. And she's still tagged at $5. Little foo lion here. What else? Here is a willow tree girl. She's missing her hand. Sad. 
There's a lovely fish back here. He's a pillar candle stand, $10 on him. Another glass tray. This one is decorative with gold trim. Again, $10 on that piece. We found one of these rainbow banks at the other Goodwill a few weeks ago. This is lovely. I think it's a project piece, possibly just decorative, but maybe for trinkets or jewelry. Really beautifully made. I love the red and orange swirls. Something completely different, a vintage hand-painted trinket box. Absolutely love the purple color on that, $4.00. I just want to make sure it doesn't have any damage, but it looks to be in really nice shape. So we'll grab both of those in just a second. I see something down here, it looks like a mirror. I thought for a second it might be vintage, but I think it is just a modern reproduction uh, made out of metal. Let's keep going. We have a picture frame here big silver plated tray and another bowl. I looked up and noticed this piece. It's a teeny tiny hand painted vintage wall pocket. It's a dust pan. This is a paperweight in acrylic. I really like these three pieces. So let's pop them into our cart. Here we are in the vases, planters and florals and up top is a pretty cobalt blue vase. This is a florist piece, not too terribly old. So we will leave it on the shelf. Oh my goodness, what a shame that this is broken. I believe this is an RS Prussia piece. It is absolutely gorgeous. Despite the break, it's still $10. So we'll leave it on the shelf. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this fellow. Little resin man, $4. He's playing a cello. I love the movement in this piece. Let's grab that. Lots of decorative fruit bits, some ceramic hanging veggies, all sorts of planters down at the bottom. All florist pieces and terracotta. This one has ivy leaves. It's a glass triangle there. I think those are for air plants. Little terrariums possibly. I like the blue in this piece. I think that's part of a sake set. $10 on that, that's interesting. Wall pockets, here's a teapot. I can feel by the weight of it that it's very modern. Biscotti jar, I think that's a nonny's biscotti. Again, $10 on that piece. Orchids up top. Some plastic silk plants. I like the drip glaze on this piece. That is a project. Six dollars, a little steep for resale. I'm trying to think if I have a place in my home for this. I don't have much blue, but if it's still here on half off day, I would definitely pick that up. Let's keep going. More of the same here. This is a pretty cup. I love the sunflowers with the teal blue. $5 though. We're having to be really careful here on these pieces because many of the prices are just not working for resale. It's a pretty picture, but it's plastic. <laughs> Had me fooled for a second. I thought it might be glass. One of my favorite aisles to browse is the mugs, cups, and glasses. There's always lots to see. I like this set with the blue square and childlike flower in the middle. Made in Indonesia, those. 
lots of styles and designs, different colors. Ooh, down here, I see the brand Dolce Vita it does have a crack in the handle, but look at this. They are famous for these cute little faces, both on um, cups and bowls. This would be absolutely lovely with a little plant in it or maybe a candle. It's heavily crazed, but that for me just adds to its charm. $2. Let's get that into our cart and we'll keep going. Over here, I've spotted... Uh, a lot of milk glass, starting with this beautiful pitcher, grape and grape leaves design. It's twelve ninety nine. Uh, a couple of goblets here. These are two dollars. I did notice that on the shelf above, there's quite a few more pieces. So let's have a look at those like that green stem. More goblets, these are more angular, they're $6. We've got a little trinket box or a tea caddy here, whatever you'd like to use it for. This one is $10. Now, sadly, these prices are quite limiting for me just too much for me to make a resale profit so I am going to leave all of these pieces on the shelf for somebody else to find. We've worked our way into the glasses and glassware now. Up on this shelf are a couple of really lovely little shot glasses. They're very heavy, nice quality. I think they're Pier 1. Uh, the bottom says four, but they're marked at $2 a piece. So let's definitely grab those. Another milk glass tumbler here. I'll pop that with its friends. What else? Ooh, some pink glass here. A cup and saucer. I know I have quite a bit of, a mil of a pink glass in my inventory from my vintage booth. Here's a pretty cup. I think it's English bone china with a lid. Oh, it's it's Kent pottery. That is a pretty piece. They just don't sell very well for me, those uh, pieces with the lid. Here we are in the kitcheny bits and up on the top shelf are a couple of interesting boxes. This one is an armrest organizer for your couch, for drinks, remotes, and magazines. This one looks like a roasting pan. We've got a cherry creamer. Oh, these are nice. Salt and pepper shakers. They are brushed nickel, a very mid-century modern design. $3.00. They're in nice shape, complete with their stoppers. Let's definitely grab those. These are marble egg cups, not very uniform. More salt and peppers. I like the tomato one, but it's missing its mate. There's a pink bowl back here. $10 price tag on that. I love the tri-footed design. Clear glass. I am on the lookout for more of those Dolce Vita uh, mugs that we found. I know I have at least two, maybe three bowls in my inventory at home. So I'll bring those out to show you as well. It's a blue swirly plate here. Very big and heavy. Not my favorite thing to ship. So we will leave that on the shelf. We've got some baking dishes. Lots and lots of servers. This is Temptations lacy pattern. And those are priced at $10 for each piece. So again, they will stay on the shelf pedestal, cake stands, lots of serving bowls, some crystal here. This is a gorgeous etched floral pitcher, $15 on that. 
trinket boxes. There's a Hershey kiss shaped one up here for six dollars. Oh, look at this piece. Amethyst glass. It has bubbles in the base. There's two more over here. This one is taller actually. Whoop. Let me just arrange these. I just got these set up and noticed a fourth one at the back here. So we've got three shorter ones at $2 and a tall one at $3. Let's definitely grab this set. I'm so excited when this happens. I found the pepper to the missing little ceramic veggie salt shaker that's over here. Let's pop them together. Actually, I think I'm going to pick these up. They sell quite well for me. And even though they're missing their stoppers, they're only 99 cents a piece. Let's put them carefully in the cart <laughs> and keep going. There's a blue bottle there, $6 on that. What else can we find? The challenge is now becoming, what can we afford? <laughs> $8 on the milk glass bowl, some trinket dishes, and a little snap top containers. Oh, this is a pretty transferware piece. I love the colors of the flowers. Unfortunately, as you can see, it has a chip on the edge, which is not focusing for me. It will in a second. Now, many of you ask me, uh, when do I pick up pieces with chips and when do I leave them? I generally leave any food service item uh, that has a chip because bacteria can get into the little cracks and it's just not um, healthy. Things that are collectible, possibly valuable and a little chipped, I do tend to pick up because often collectors who might not be able to afford something in uh, perfect condition and have been looking for it will jump at the chance to get the piece with a tiny bit of damage for a lesser cost. Back here, a tree of life appetizer serving dish. If that was any other color but clear, I would pick it up. They come in green, they come in amber. Do they come in pink? I'm not sure, possibly. A marble cutting board here, that's $13. Well, I've hunted high and low and there is no sign of any more of the uh, Dolce Vita face mugs or bowls. But I did want to uh, pop a picture in here for you. And to let you know that anthropomorphic pieces, pieces that have um, a face or human character sell very, very well for me. And some of the vintage pieces can be quite valuable. So do be on the lookout for those. Under here is a glass piece. Oh, it's Christmas holly and berries. It appears to be reverse painted as you can see, and these don't tend to stand up very well to use. So we will leave that on the shelf. A checkered chip and dip here. This has the look of Polish pottery. Got a pedestal stand there. Lots of glass bowls. This one is stunning. $15 on that. Divided dishes, jars and bowls. Here's a little butterfly trinket box. Candlestick. This piece looks like Mikasa. It's a cookie jar. I'm always so glad I make a second go around the store because I invariably find something. Look at this. It's a tramp art piece, I think. Decoupaged with gold, only $3. It's a little box with flowers. Let's grab that. Back here is another box. This one is inlaid brass, not ever such good quality. The brass is very tarnished. It's made in India. It's $4. I think we'll leave that one for somebody else. 
Let's see, up here is a little dog puzzle. Some knife blocks and bird houses. I'm going to take you on a little stroll through the artwork. First, we have the smaller pieces, lots of prints and frames here. This looks very vintage, maybe just made to look that way. All sorts of frames. Here is The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. As I always say, if you need frames for any reason, uh, your th local thrift store is an excellent place to go. They always have all sizes, shapes and styles, as you can see, for just a few dollars. Lots of different pieces for all tastes, styles and sizes. Just having a look through, little chef tile there, a bit damaged. Wall decor, lots and lots of artwork. It's a bead owl. You can tell a lot about a piece of art from the way it's framed. As you can see, a lot of these pieces are canvases. The pattern extends over the frame. This is a lovely piece, $20 watercolor, possibly uh, Europe. As I'm sure many of you know, framing a piece of art can be ever so expensive, up into the hundreds of dollars. And you can reuse these larger frames for whatever you may need. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill, as well as a few pieces from my vintage booth and some jewelry that I purchased from sunny Las Vegas, my friend. And uh, I'm actually going to split the profits with him because he gave me such a fantastic deal on some beautiful pieces. Let's start over here with the amazing Dolce Vita Happy Little Love Face mug here. Now this piece is quite vintage. I don't know if you can see, but it is rather crazed and it does have a uh, crack on the handle there. It doesn't go all the way through, so I'm not sure it's actually a repair, but it's definitely a crack. It Nevertheless, it's a beautiful little piece for display. It would look lovely with a plant in it, an air plant, or you could create a candle with some melted wax and a wick. Lovely, lovely piece. We paid $2 for it, and I am going to ask $20. Next, the beautiful Italian salt and pepper shakers here. I've sold these before. I had quite a bit of interest in them. We've got eggplants and carrots. On the other one, tomatoes and corn. All the names of the veggies are in Italian. Pomodoro and... Uh, I can't read that. <laughs> we paid 99 cents a piece on the salt and pepper shakers. I am asking $18 on the set. Another lovely set of salt and peppers here. Quite uh, the opposite in style. These are ultra modern. We've got three holes on one, two holes on the other. Salt and pepper on the bottom. Their stoppers are intact. I paid uh, $3, I believe, on this set, and I am asking $22. I did fail to mention these are actually missing their stoppers, but they are easily replaceable. You can uh, get them for not very much money on Amazon. Well, these lovely pieces turned out to be one of my amazing finds of the day. I thought they might actually be um, flute glasses, but in my research, I found that they are actually vintage vases. We have four of them. They have uh, almost controlled bubbles in the bottom. 
and not ever so um, symmetrical here as you can see but they are lovely there is the bottom nice and polished very clear they are a little scratched which tells me they uh, are showing some age scratches occur when they are moved around on a surface and the little tiny pieces of dust uh, on the surface create some scratches there they are beautifully made a lovely um, finished top on each of them this one is larger let me show you this really really gorgeous little set um, I would prefer that they go together I'm asking $28 a piece on these or $95 on the set of four next we have our little German fellow playing the cello he has a wood base. I believe he is made of resin. His detail is fantastic. I love the movement. It looks uh, like he's playing the cello. You can almost hear the tune as you look at him. He's in lovely condition. The painting um, of this piece is very in tune uh, with the style and age of the piece. We paid $4 on him. I am going to ask $24. Another of my favorite pieces here, I've got it on a little uh, display light stand here so you can see the crackle. It's a vintage crackle glass. It's a little pitcher or vase. The handle is applied. Just beautiful. You don't often come across these with the sort of jack in the pulpit almost style uh, top on there. Just so lovely. I'm very to temp tempted to keep this piece, but I can't keep everything. I paid $3 on this and I am going to ask $28. Next, we have our lovely little... Uh, folk art trinket box here. I'm almost positive that this was a project piece. Somebody created little uh, three-dimensional paper flowers under the glass and the edging is almost like a gold doily. Now at the top there are some little pieces missing. Um, I'm sure from age. There are the hinges and the little handle. It has four feet. We paid three dollars on this piece. Not sure what that piece is on the back. Oh, it's just a little piece of paper on the back. Three dollars. I am going to ask twenty-four dollars. Look at <laughs> this cat. His face is so cute. Some of these, their faces are a little bit scary, um, but this guy is adorable. He has a pink nose, big bright eyed expression. He's a shelf sitter, fully jointed at the knees. His um, legs are, I thought it was leather, but I think it's like a plastic which is even better because the plastic will not deteriorate. Let me show you his back here. He's got a little tail carved in. He's carved all over and painted, actually made of resin. We paid six dollars for him. I am going to ask twenty-eight dollars. Now back here, um, I've had a couple of requests for Hager pieces. This is a gorgeous vintage Hager pitcher. Show you the bottom. There's the Hager mark. This was a piece from my booth. Uh, it was marked at 35. Let's ask 28 on that piece. Next, just in time for Easter, is this lovely little tea for one set. It has a teapot on top and the base is the cup. <laughs> it's carrots here. Now I do need to let you know that the base here is a little bit crazed. I don't know if you can see that. 
It's a Peggy Jo Ackley piece, a very popular designer. The bottom also a little bit crazy. There is also some crazing inside, so I probably wouldn't recommend you actually use this piece um, and keep it just for display. Um, I am going to ask $25 on this piece. More pieces from the booth over here. I have this lovely London puzzle. It's a, a dowdle folk art piece. Very popular artist, Eric Dowdle. Uh, I have several of his puzzles and as I complete them I like to pass them along. I'm going to ask $12 on the London puzzle, 500 pieces. That's what you create when you finish it. Lovely. This is, I believe, a Jonathan Adler piece. Happy Chic Jonathan Adler. Very popular designer. I have this priced at $40 in my booth. It's a trinket box made to look like a rock, onyx or marble, and the pink flows down across the sides. Let's ask uh, $35 on this piece. Back here, another piece from my booth. I believe this to be recycled glass, judging by the wavy striations on it here. It's absolutely beautiful. It is uh, cobalt, very heavy. If I had to guess, I would say it was a Vidrios San Miguel piece. It is lovely dark cobalt blue. Uh, and I am going to ask $24 on this piece. Next, this beautiful basket here. It is copper wire with beads, uh, smaller beads and larger beads all the way around. I put these apples in just to show you how lovely it looks. Um, I am asking 18 on this piece. Next is a pyrography bowl. Pyrography is when the wood um, has a design burned into it. In this case, we have some thistles. So if anybody has Scottish roots, take a look at this piece. I believe it's a project. The base is very intricate. It's also signed. Look how much work went into this piece. It's absolutely gorgeous and I am asking $35 on this piece. Many of you have asked for these Majolica uh, planters and I had this one available. It's got six little frogs around it with some, I don't know if they are reeds. They look like they're ready to jump into the planter it's fully glazed and I am asking 35 on this piece. This is a lovely vintage style cutting board by Epoch. The design is very early century. I love the colors. It's a muted blue with cobalt and burgundy. Epoch and I am going to ask $18 on that piece. Over here, as I mentioned in the video, we've got the matching bowls to the cup we found. There's a set of four. This one is the exact same design. Little hearts. Next is the pink colored one. They all have different expressions and little three-dimensional noses here. This one, it looks like he's had a bit too much bubbly hair <laughs> in blue. And last but not least, this green one looking over with a smile. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I am asking $50 on the set. Over here is a lovely soup bowl. I think these are used in Europe 
for uh, French onion soup commonly. This is uh, the brand Sur La Table, one of my favorite brands, ever so well made, just beautiful. And I am asking $9 on that piece. This is an Ardo piece, Ardolt, Ardolt. Uh, I believe it is Japanese, very vintage. It has the very delicate lace uh, around her skirt and around her bonnet. Uh, inevitably, some damage there, but it is a gorgeous piece, lovely muted colors. She would look beautiful in an Easter display. I am asking $24 on her. Over here, a lovely center point Otagiri style watering can. It does have a hole in the spout, so you could actually use it, but I think it would be beautiful with a little plant in it, a succulent. It has um, transferware. I think those are African violets on. And I am asking $12 on that piece. Let's cover these quickly. These were from Miley's collection. She's had a little uh, design change in her room. And so a couple of trinket box, uh, trinket trays are available that she would like to pass along. This is a lovely green uh, ampersand sign. $12 on this. And if anybody has a unicorn fan in their family, this one is lovely. It says, you are magic. I've also got a little perfume bottle here. Beautiful design on top. It is Toka of Florence. And uh, I'm asking 12 on that as well. These we found at Goodwill. A couple of Pier 1 shot glasses. They're beautiful quality with a cobalt swirl. They're definitely handmade, as you can see by the variants in the swirl there. Very, very high-end, nice quality set. I paid $2 uh, a piece on those and I am asking $20 on the set. Another piece that would be absolutely perfect for Easter, a little duckling with her hand cart. She's hand painted with pink and green flowers here. Look at those eyelashes. She is gorgeous. She would be ideal to hold some jelly beans or little chocolate eggs as a candy dish. Or you could also put a little air plant or succulent in her cart there. I am asking $12 on her. This is a stunning piece of art glass. I think it's somebody's project. Now you could rest a piece of jewelry or a ring in there, but it also looks beautiful uh, as just a decorative piece. It has a little stand there. The swirls of the glass are gorgeous. Let's actually borrow the lighted stand just to show you for a second the light coming through. Look how pretty it is. Just beautiful. We paid $4 on that piece and I am asking $28. Along with that piece on the same shelf, I found this beautiful uh, trinket box. It's not hand-painted piece. It is signed up here. I think it says Ruff, K Ruff, M Ruff. Definitely vintage. No damage at all to it. No markings on the bottom, but the side is also a pale purpley color. I think I paid three or four dollars on this piece. I am asking eighteen dollars. Now when I saw this little wall pocket piece it reminded me of this set that I have. Very very close in style. I paid two dollars on the little mini wall pocket um, 
and I am asking $12 on that piece. And same, same on the little trinket dish here and the candle. Let's do $12 a piece on those. Now, before we move over to this gorgeous jewelry here, um, let's take a look at this piece. It glows beautifully. It's a, I believe, in my research, I found that it's either a mustard jar, some have advertised it as a shaving cup or a vase, double horse's head, and uh, we paid $8 on it. I am going to ask $28. So I went over to Broad Acres Marketplace um, a few videos ago where sunny Las Vegas and Carrie the Desert Mermaid had a, a booth and uh, Sunny had quite a bit of jewelry in a big bowl. I ended up purchasing that and uh, <laughs> Sunny would not, he, he didn't want to take any money. So what I am going to do mm. is um, split the profit on all of these pieces. This is just a small part uh, of the bag but uh, my favorite pieces here. I absolutely love these collars and uh, they are retailing online for $50 and up. Just to make it easy, I am going to put all the necklaces at $25 a piece. We've got some turquoise here. This is a lovely piece with seed beads and metal here. The two collared necklaces. This is a beautiful multi-stranded piece, black seed beads with gold, and a couple of uh, quite fun pieces here. We've got pale pink, perfect for Easter, and this bold statement piece, uh, gold tone, and a little bracelet here with flowers and butterflies, and this is quite a delicate here, a little heart. I am going to stress all of these pieces are costume jewelry. They are not um, precious metals by any means, but they are very, very uh, chic and stylish. Absolutely love them. As I say, 25 per piece on the necklaces to start. And uh, let's do $12 a piece on these bracelets. These look like coral pieces with some little metal here. And uh, these are actually very easy to put on. They are uh, magnetic. They work like that. They're lovely if you stack them together. Oops. So there we go. Last but not least over here are beautiful urn. I believe it is Moroccan. We have leather with painted ceramic. We have some inlay. Now, unfortunately, when I got it home, I realized there was a little bit of damage. We have one inlaid piece missing here. It uh, is supposed to have one of these. And also, I did want to show you down here this is what the tassels are supposed to look like. And it looks like this bunch of tassel has got wet or something similar because the tassels are a little bit curly and have lost some of their color. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful piece. It's going to be for pickup in Las Vegas only due to its weight and um, gosh, I would not want to risk something this beautiful uh, breaking in transit. I paid $50 for it and I am going to ask $150 on it.
As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my good world trip with my dad and the haul. Please stay tuned. We have some fun footage of Bear and Rio and our lovely hummingbirds as usual. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in and your offer. As I always like to remind you, I get many, many emails and offers. So if you are uh, in love with something, I suggest you add a couple of dollars to the asking price to give yourself the best chance at winning that item. Another reminder that my website, thriftingvegas.com, is live. So if you see uh, anything from a previous video that you are interested in purchasing, do check out my website. Uh, it may just still be available. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Come here. <laughs> Bear. <laughs>
This is going to be so much fun. I am here at Goodwill, but I'm not alone. <laughs> my oh. mum and my daughter, Miley, are with us. Hello. Wow. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what are we going to look for today? <laughs> uh, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Cut. I was not prepared for